This video was intended to inform and educate the public. A Vermont man is set to get money from the state after he was charged with a crime for giving a state trooper the middle finger during a traffic stop in 2018. Hello everyone and welcome back to this episode of the Junkyard News. In today's video news story we're going to be discussing a traffic stop in Vermont and one particular state trooper whose actions set up the state to pay a man who was retaliated against merely for exercising his First Amendment. That's right. He flipped off a trooper and got charged. And now Vermont is on the hook for some green, green, green. You need something? You need something? Yeah. No, it looks like you uh, put the house in the wrong car there. It's like you went like this to me as I was driving by. What are you looking? Did you not do that? No, you might have thought I might have been stretching. I'm doing this. Okay, so you didn't... No. Okay, you didn't intentionally do that then. I thought I could do too long. Yeah, it looks like you looked right at me and looks like you stuck your middle finger up in my face. No, no, I was doing this. Vermont has now agreed to pay a man to settle a lawsuit that was filed after he was charged with a crime, actually disorderly conduct, for giving a state trooper the middle finger back in 2018. The lawsuit, which was filed back in 2021 by the ACLU of Vermont on behalf of Gregory Bombard of St. Albans, says Bombard's First Amendment rights were violated after an unnecessary traffic stop and retaliatory arrest back in 2018. You see, Trooper Jay Riggin, who is now retired, back then had stopped Bombard's vehicle in St. Albans because he believed Bombard had showed him the middle finger as he drove by. So the trooper then initiated what some would claim would be an unlawful traffic stop with no driving infraction. Just pulled him over merely to talk to him about what the trooper thought had happened. And he questions him. Were you trying to get my attention? Looked like you were flipping me the bird. Now wouldn't it have been sweet if he had replied to the trooper, well, don't you know the bird is the word? What are you talking about? Oh, have you not heard? It was my understanding that everyone had heard. Heard what? Brian, don't! <laughs> but that didn't happen. So after the trooper discusses with Bombard what he believed to be the gesture at hand, Bombard said, no, I didn't flip you off. One could assume it was just some innocent gesture, you know, going up and rubbing his hair or scratching his nose, who knows. But he did deny giving the trooper the bird. Yeah. You must be really sensitive if the trooper is top of mind. Huh? Well, I don't need to make it personal, you know. I mean, I, I, you look right at me, and I you were like a cigarette or you had a... You're one, you're one. First of all, I'm not an overly sensitive person, yeah. and it's the first time in 12 years I've ever stopped someone where I thought it was me off, so I don't like that insinuation. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in talking you to you, let's 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 let's
I won't take up any more of your time. Well, I'm going to file a complaint with you. You're, 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 more, you're more than welcome to. The super rig had a salvage barracks. But I don't understand why, like, you saw it just lost. I was going by there, and your middle finger was extended while you were looking at me. I was doing this. I was doing this. Well, I, I, I also see you had a cigarette in your hand. Yeah. So it's possible that you had one hand up while you were sitting right there. So, 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 so actually, <laughs> so, so you're, you're more than welcome to. So, so here, here's the issue, yeah. is that, it, it, although maybe freedom of expression, it is so unusual, that it requires introduction to make sure you give yourself a certain time. Are you trying to signal my attention or something? Okay, so it may be freedom of expression, but it crosses the line, whereas it is so unusual that it requires intervention. And I'm not going to delay you more than you YouTube. Once, listen, so once I realize that you weren't cooking me off, you're free to go. You understand? You, you don't, now you don't realize that it puts you off. Once I realize What you, if I did put you off? Then we have a conversation while it's probably not appropriate. It's other things to do than to be. So if I did put you off, All right, have a good day. And after some more back and forth, the trooper decides to walk away and ends the traffic stop. And as Bombard starts pulling out in the traffic and driving away, the trooper says that he cursed at him and gave him the bird. That's right. I didn't do it the first time, but now you've pissed me off, so here you go. The bird is the word. And as the trooper pulls out behind him, they go a little ways down the road. The trooper radios in. Bombard had cursed at him and actually... In his sight, firsthand, Bombard had the audacity to actually flip him off. Well, there's no mistaking it now. He flipped me off, and I'm going to do something about it. And he proceeds to pull him over. Um, so the fact he pulled away, he uh, called me an asshole and said, fuck you with the bird. I'm going to let some control conduct. There's most of the people around there. To Florida Song, send me another unit to uh, Brainerd Street in the city. Not only does he pull him over, heatedly, he goes up to Bombard, tells him, and orders him to get out of the vehicle that he's under arrest for disorderly conduct. Nice. 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 Now you know, and I know, that giving a law enforcement officer the bird is not disorderly conduct. It is free speech. But somehow, some way, of course this was back in 2018, this trooper must never have heard at that time of the First Amendment. Okay, so, so now you're under arrest for disorderly conduct. Get out of the car. I'm under arrest for yeah. disorderly conduct? What yeah. did I do? All, all the people there saying, fuck you and calling me an asshole, all the people there in the public? That's a crime, sir. So get out of the car, you're under arrest. No way. Wait. How am I under arrest for you're, disorderly conduct? I'm not going to bathe this abuse. Please step out of the car. You are under arrest. Step out of the but car. But how is that disorderly conduct, sir? How is that but, a disorderly but, conduct? Although the first sir, interaction... Sir, I just got but, up. Listen, I'm, I'm having although a first, coffee. Listen to me. Ask me a question. Although the first interaction may have been an error, the second one certainly was not. And while your window was down, with your middle finger extended, you said, quote, asshole, yelled it, and then said, fuck you, as you drove away. And all that public there heard it and saw it. So that is disorderly conduct, 101, step out of the car. Got a tail light out. Where? Right there. Step out of the car. I have a lot of issues. Step out of the car. Or right. step out of the car, you're going to be a jack. How am I going to Step out of the car. Can I, can I meet you at the barracks? You, no, you cannot. How step out of the car, you're under arrest. Can I call your supervisor? Do not. We'll be at the barracks when we get there. Step out of the car, you're under arrest. How am I under arrest? Step out of the car, I'm going to make you. But, sir, how, can you explain to me how that is? It's just only conduct. It, it is tumultuous behavior of all the motor vehicle traffic there. That's yeah. Motor, you cannot do that. It's a multi- I it's profane that. behavior in public. I don't That's understand just that. Step out of the car. I'm off the door. Step out of the car. God, I can't believe this. Step out of the car. You're serious, sir. Walk back here. Oh, my 
God. It wasn't a problem until it became a problem, you understand? No. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm going to put the hood on my... Hands on the hood. Oh, my God. Hands on the hood. Come on. Can I put your hand on your back? Oh, my God, sir. You're kidding. Other like, hand. Other hand. Other hand. Other hand. I'll take care of it. Okay. I cannot believe this, sir. I could not believe this. The person may have been there, and it's someone certainly was not. How is it disorderly conduct? I'm not being disorderly. How is it causing disorderly? Now, we can maybe agree or disagree, but yelling asshole and saying, fuck you, with your hand out of the window, in front of what probably oh, is a little bit of a problem. Problem. There are dozens of people, if not over a hundred people, in very busy Main Street traffic. Now, that's disorderly conduct 101. That first thing may have been an error, but after that, it certainly wasn't. But now I'm wondering. How you act, and it, but now I'm wondering if maybe you actually did do that as I thought you originally did. Because only somebody who then would have the the the, the sure, audacity. I was you you may, let, you may let me speak now. Someone has the audacity to do that. Someone has the audacity. I've made thousands and thousands of phone oh, calls, yeah, so and, and I, 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 I don't remember you. any time. I've ever seen someone consciously put me in the bird's eye. Now, now, I'm, now I'm convinced that you did. Look at that behavior to actually get the end of the stop. Okay, so you're right, under arrest, and that's the end of the story. Whatever. I don't know what to do here, so I'm going to... What we're we going to do is just be compliant. Okay, I am, but I'm not going to answer my questions, I guess. I'm not... I'm, not I'm worried about my car. I'm not intending you to ask, I'm not intending to ask you the questions. I'm worried about my car, sir. Jeff, if you're staying there. You're kidding me. I cannot believe this. 24 cell phone, 21, I'll use the 24. Everything in here is going to fall from here, they don't have any gloves on. No. No. Sir, could you please? Can I please go? No. Nope. That ship sailed. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh my god. I'm all set now. So what happens to my car? Well, Man. it says no parking inside of the street, so it's going to get towed. Now, under the settlement signed by the parties this month, the state has agreed to pay Bombard $100,000, as well as $75,000 to the ACLU of Vermont and the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expressions for the legal fees. They were quoted as saying, while our client is pleased with this outcome, this incident should never have happened in the first place. Police need to respect everyone's First Amendment rights, even for things they consider offensive or insulting to their profession. And of course, the Vermont State Police did not have a comment on the settlement. Vermont did not admit any wrongdoing as part of the deal. They were just willing to give this man a check and be done with it. Gregory Bombard is set to receive $175,000 in this settlement. Now, the case was weighing whether or not flipping off a state trooper is protected under the First Amendment. If we want to live in a free society, we have to ensure that we can speak openly to the police. Gregory Bombard is set to receive a $175,000 settlement from the state of Vermont, saying the arrest violated his First Amendment rights. Absolutely. The First Amendment doesn't protect only speech that the police like. And that would, we have a right in this country, it's a fundamental constitutional right to express criticism with the government. And if police don't agree with that speech, they are not allowed to abuse their authority to punish it. Now, Bombard said in the statement provided by the ACLU that he hopes that the Vermont State Police will train its troopers to avoid silencing criticism or making baseless car stops. And that's exactly what it was. If a cop goes by you and you give him the bird and they stop you just for that reason and that reason alone, that is not a legitimate stop. Comment what you think below. Do you think $175,000 was enough of a payout on this? Do you think that Mr. Bombard and his attorneys and the ACLU should have flipped a coin and taken a chance with a jury to possibly get more? If this happened to you, would you be happy with $100,000? Be safe, people. Be very careful out there. Because one of these stories we cover, it could be you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Videos uploaded by the Junkyard News are helped in part by viewers just like you. You can show your support for this channel by clicking the thumbs up, sharing our videos. Don't want to miss a video or a story? Make sure to check us out and like us on Facebook at the Junkyard News.